Hello, this is Sanjay Sane from Sane's Academy. In one of the earlier videos, we saw option of linear programming problem in Excel. Now in this video, we are going to see option of linear programming problem in Python using package pulp. We will consider one problem of product mix in which per unit profit have been given of three products, namely executive office and student and also the constraints what with cabinet shop finishing shop and creating shop have been given and all as also you can see down here the problem already has been formulated this same problem was also taken as an example in one of our earlier videos with excel option let us do the same thing now with Python pulp package. Now to begin with, please ensure that you have installed the package pulp in your Python environment. Having installed pulp in your Python environment, you need to import pulp with import pulp and alias you can give. Preferred alias can be P. As this problem is of maximization, you need to first of all specify that particular thing with the option lp maximize let's do that hence we have written over here called over here the function p dot lp problem in which we can give any name this string is optional actually we can give any any name to it as i have given over here as problem one but if the problem is of maximization, please don't forget to specify lp dot or p dot lp maximize. We are using version of pulp over here as 2.7. And you can very well see the documentation. Also, you can see one thing that if you don't specify whether you need to minimize or maximize, the default option is lp minimize. Now having executed this, we now require to define the or specify the decision variables. As you see in our problem, the decision variables, there are three decision variables x1, x2 and x3. Now while we specify it, mind it well that over here we have product mix problem. So none of the variables should be over here less than zero. It can be zero or more than zero. And hence the bounds have been given. As you see, we are calling the variable, we are calling the function LP variable for defining the variable. If you check documentation of that particular function, you will see that there is a provision of giving upper bound as well as lower bound. So in case if you require to give upper bound, then you need to specify it with the option up bound. Here we have specified low bound is equal to zero and no upper bound option. That means up bound can be positive infinity. There is no bound for up bound over here. Having considered defining decision variables, let us see the objective function. As you see, we have the objective function at z is equal to 1600x1 plus 1300x2 and 1600x3. Over here, let me tell you that entire problem of our LPP is going to get stored in the object LP prob. LP prob we have already defined here as the maximization problem in lp prob lp underscore prob object we are going to now specify the objective function with the syntax plus equal to let's do that hence as you see the objective function has been 
specified with lp underscore prob object next come the constraints every constraint needs to be specified with inequalities or equalities if equalities are there and as i had said all the constraints also need to be specified with lp underscore prob object let's do that hence as you see the constraints have been specified and once the constraints have been specified over here we also need to check first of all whether we have entered everything properly with lp underscore prop problem you see over here one problem one typo which might be there is that we have specified x1 x2 and x2 and not x3 we need to check it by scrolling up and here comes our bug so we need to correct it so as you see it's not just enough to name this x3 but also it's necessary to have x3 over here because the lp variable the lp variable or i can say also lp prop recognizes the object name specified over here hence let's edit it and again run it before we edit and run please make sure that the variables which you are entering are not getting entered twice for example now one more problem has occurred we have overwritten certain things okay and hence some few more variables have been added still the things haven't been corrected so my suggestion is when you make any change over here up here better it will be that you restart and clear output and restart and run all that will be more better choice so hence having done this having done this correction i am going to run this run this run this run the constraints and again check whether i have entered everything properly or not seems this is okay and fine and now we are going to solve the problem for solving the lp underscore prob we require to call lp underscore prob dot solve now when we are going to solve not necessary that every time our problem will result in optimal solution it may happen that you know our problem will end in some some non-solved not solved invisible unbounded or something like that we need to check that how to check it out with lp status function so hence as you see that our problem is having optimal solution let's see the solution let's retrieve the solution now for getting the solution we can call the function value p dot value x1 for x1 for the first variable p dot value x2 for the second one and p dot value x3 for the third one well rather than displaying it in this way let us do it with print function hence as you see we were able to display everything and also objective function value hence in this video we saw the option as well as we also saw the case if you make any typo mistake how to fix that bug thanks for watching this video if you like this video please don't forget to click the like button and for latest updates from me do subscribe to my channel thank you